What is shooting? In essence, really it boils down to a hand-eye coordination skill. That's it. Um, it's your finger reacting to what your eye sees in order to shoot well. And it is. Whether you're shooting with iron sights, uh, a scope, a red dot type sight, whatever the case is, it's nothing more than your finger reacting to what your eye sees. If your sights aren't aligned, is your finger going to keep moving? Probably not. Again, depending on the distance you're shooting at. In the bullseye community, if you're shooting at 25 or 50 yards and your front sight bumps into your rear sight, you're going to abort that shot in slow fire. I know, you can't abort your shots in time fire and rapid fire. But in slow fire, if things go really bad, you can stop that. Okay. So what we're going to talk about is the relationship between aiming and trigger control. And I don't think a lot of people really understand that, like I said at the beginning, that it, it is nothing other than your finger reacting to what your eye sees. Once you can comprehend that, I think it really is going to make some big strides for you. Another thing that I tell students a lot of time, and I always ask them a question, and it kind of, you know, they, it's kind of a trick question, so don't feel bad if you don't get it. But I always ask, what's the trigger for? And I get this deer in the headlights look. So, so what, what is the trigger on the gun for? I'll give you a second. Think about it. All right. The trigger is used to maintain sight alignment and sight picture. I know. Right? Now, the trigger is used to maintain sight alignment and sight picture. You can hold sight alignment and sight picture on your pistol all day long. When does it change? When you move the trigger. The sights move. They're going to move. They have to move, okay? I mean, no matter how big your hand is or strong you are and you've got a death grip on there, as soon as you apply force to something on this pistol, it's going to move a little bit. And our, our instinct is, oh, sights move, stop. Okay, start moving. Sights move, stop. Okay, which brings me to there's two types of trigger control. There's uninterrupted and wrong. Not interrupted. Interrupted is wrong. So it's uninterrupted trigger control or wrong. If you stop squeezing that trigger, keep in mind this is bullseye shooting, okay? Keep in mind. So as you're pulling the trigger, you're squeezing, shot breaks. If you stop and you start again, what happens? The front sight's going to move in the rear sight. The dot's going to move. It's going to bounce. All right? So there's a distinct relationship in the aiming process and your trigger control. You've got to marry those two together. That's why in the one segment where we were talking about trigger control, I said, you know, the finger reacts to what the eye sees, but also it was taught backwards. So we went from align the sights, then pull the trigger, to aligning the sights as you're pulling the trigger. So I've got pressure on the trigger, and the trigger's actually starting to move to the rear before those sights are perfectly aligned in the center of the target. The sights are automatically aligned. Why? Because I have a perfect grip. My stance and position are right where they need to be. Every time that gun comes up and settles in, those sights are automatically aligned to my eye, and they're moving towards the center of my target. As those sights start moving towards the center of the target, as they start dipping down into the black, that's when I start putting pressure on the trigger, moving the trigger to the rear. As it's still settling in, squeeze, 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 sights are in the middle, moves around for a second, shot breaks. I'm not aligning the sights in the middle of the target and then pulling the trigger. It's aligning the sights as you're pulling the trigger. They've got to be the same. So like I said, two fundamentals, aiming, and trigger control. They should be married into one fundamental called aiming trigger control. Okay? Because they've got to work hand in hand. Once you can marry aiming and trigger control together, you're going to make some really big improvements.